George of the Jungle was nowhere to be found. Oh no. What doth life? Jill of the Jungle. The virus is in the lake. <laughs> Tim Sweeney. Let's see what Tim Sweeney's doing now. Cuts to, like, social media posts. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Uh, uh. I guess never meet the game developers. That's okay, though. I find that my favorite game developers just have to be people who make ROM hacks nowadays. So it's okay! Now, I think I follow a few of them around. Well, when they get around. Like there's kind of a shake-up at the moment. Where people are having a hard time making decisions. This usually happens every four years in America, so... Uh, it's always something. It's tricky to jump around. It's tricky. T-R-I-C-K-Y. It's tricky. Tricky Minaj. Tricky Mirage. Yeah. Okay, because of the fact that I'm going to have that also be a locked door. Now I need four keys. And this is all so I can go through them to get yet another key to open the previous locked door. You know? We're just extending my game time arbitrarily, but is that what every game is? Aren't all video games filler? Life is filler. We are all fillers in the grand cosmos of life. Recommended by the Life Filler Cosmos Foundation Association of the Galaxy. Galaxy Crusaders. Don't. <laughs> some weird, uh. Yeah. At first, you you probably thought while I was playing this game, it's like, hey, how come this doesn't use the entire, entire screen? I'm like, look at the text at the bottom where it tells you random stuff happening. Just as it happens. Come on, grab me! I'm the greatest red key who ever keyed. Yeah, yeah. There we go. We use a gem within the level to use it in the overworld. Well, interestingly, that goes with the other one I got from level 3 slash 4 slash 5. Well, it looks like Pac Man's given up. I guess I should have guessed that, considering there's Pac Man ghosts. Uh. Yeah, sorry. Pac-Man. Of, of all video game characters that you need to replace in the 90s, I don't think Pac-Man was one of them. I mean, yeah, Pac-Man is hella popular, but in the 90s, there were so many cool video games happening. You're just like, oh yeah, Pac-Man's a thing. Still, right? Yeah, yeah, you know. Let's explore the forest. Okay. This is a new weapon. What kind of weapon is it? I think it's a... It says spinning blade. I'm not really sure what you mean there, game. I thought maybe it was like a shuriken, but it like bounces around. It's kind of interesting. I'd like to see someone make it like... I'd like to see a real life model of what the hell this weapon is. Like, what if a shuriken and a shillelagh had a baby? I guess that's what this weapon is. Ding, ding. You can safely go through the water or through the sides, but the moment you land in it, you will drown. That can be hard to tell when you're dealing with corners, I'm sure. Yeah, like there, see how it's like covered by the top? Yeah, that probably won't work out for you. So you could probably jump through the side if it would let you, but yeah, the moment you actually fall down into the water, you're done. That's the way we want. Yeah, alligators. Man, them gators. We got all types of the animal kingdom. All of the kingdoms fit to be animals. Of the jungle. I mean forest. Wherever the hell that is. I see we got like a lens flare sunset in the background. That's really good. I think I think the ground is looking at me now. It's trying to decide which which robot master wants to fight next and it wants to go for Jill Woman. Which, you know, uh, you know there's like a jumping jack flash? There's like a female counterpart, jumping Jill. And it's not Jill the Jungle, it's in fact more like jumping jack flash. Just thought I'd think of that now, because like, who else do I know that's Jill that, you know, doesn't turn into a sandwich? Or might be the master of unlocking, I don't know. 
Any other Jills out there? Jillian. Jillium. Oh, yeah. Gotta do it. Jack and Jill? Yeah. That's probably true. Again, don't know how this is supposed to look like Phoenix. If this is what Phoenixes look like to you, I would suggest uh, calling the Night Doctor. I didn't even mention that you can transform into this. Yeah, that's a thing in this game, is transformations. Other transformations include a frog and a fish. Which is interesting, because I, unlike the butterfly and the frog, which are clearly enemies that you're appropriating, Mario Odyssey style, uh, I don't really see the, f the, the specific fish I transform into being used as an enemy sprite. I could be wrong. Well, see, so I like how everyone I grab the keys, it goes, Yeah! Well, the sound effects differ between all three games, so... Yeah, don't get too used to that. Go up, you stupid idiot. Go up, twice. I needed two signs to tell you that. It's like, screw you, game. I'll go the opposite way just to see what's over there. I've been taught by games to go backwards. It's like, I'm at the start of level. Better walk to the left in case there's something there. You never know. Oh, shoot. That one actually broke the bridge. Turn back, you must touch the emblem of Jill. I don't know what that symbol was that turned me into this. It was it like a little Omega thing slash anchor? At least the one that associates with the frog is like, oh yeah, this turns me into frog, but... And then the one from fish is kind of interesting looking too. But, however I'm turning to that phoenix butterfly, whatever you want to call it, is madness. Do. Do, 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 do. The gate opens. But wait, we got one more thing we're gonna do. But first of all, Duke Nukem is retiring way too soon. This is before Duke Nukem 3D, so I'm surprised that was already catching on. In fact, Duke Nukem was already rising in popularity, which is incredibly interesting because this would have been after Duke Nukem 1 and before Duke Nukem 2. So even even then, Epic's like, hey, wait a minute. Joke's on you, Epic. Duke Nukem is better than ever. Oh, sure, Forever may have been, like, kind of middle of the road. I honestly don't think Duke Nukem Forever is a bad game. It is, a, it is however, a victim of its uh, development. There's like a whole number of topics on it if you're very interested, but basically it's just, you know, it gets redeveloped every time new game technology comes out. And by now, since there's not that many innovations due to possibly seeing the end of Moore's Law for the time being, you know, it's kind of silly that anyone had to, like, it's only especially silly because there's a lot of games side by side in the 90s, which one would appear obviously technologically superior to the other one. You know? Or even re-release so. Like, you know, re-releasing Tetris in the 90s and being like, oh wow, I've never played Tetris before. So, yeah. E e even within retro gaming, there's, oh my god, what's that? Help me, the bonus is destroying my ears! Ah! Oh god! This is the worst song ever! I know who's copyrighting these songs too, it's the guy who made the songs. Well, guess what? I hope you listen to the song in your sleep. What's wrong with you? Ah! Oh god. Who is it? Mr. Friedman? Friedman? Dan Friedman? Something like that. Anyway, no, he's probably cool. But he does want credit for doing Jill Jungle music, so give him that credit, please. In fact, that's probably where the monetization is going to go, if I even bother with that. It would go right now. I think you could still buy some of his stuff too, uh, anyway, including the soundtrack of Jill the Jungle from him. I don't know how he feels about it now, it's gone freeware. I didn't even think that's something I would ask him or even talk to him about anyway. It's just that it's one of the rare times I get a copyright on videos where it it's actually appropriate because the person actually made the music rather than some random person appropriating it into their own video and claiming it's theirs. Which happens a lot. Because 
you know, the onus is on... The onus becomes on defendant rather than, like, the poor accuser, which really shouldn't happen. I don't know why I'm not giving knives, because this crab's just going to haunt me for the rest of my life. I gotta get up there. It's okay, I got three arrows to feed. Screw you! Alright, let's get out of here. This is an assault. Assault on all my senses. Hello, everyone. This is Gaming Wolf, and, um, I'm deaf now. What's that? I can't hear you! Being deaf must be weird for when you have to actually speak. In fact, it is. Because I've heard deaf people talk. <laughs> There's not really much you can do. It's just like, well, they don't have any... Especially if they're born deaf, because then they don't have any reference. So it's just like, you know, read lips. Try that. Essentially. It is a sad fate indeed, but, you know, they get along anyway. I would probably rather be deaf than blind, though. Oh my god. At least if I couldn't hear, you know what I'd probably do for video games? I'd, I'd like, uh get, like, one of those sound players to, you know, show, like, the graphs of how loud these sounds are. At least I get an idea of the rhythm, even if I wouldn't know what the melody sounds like. So that would be something. Hey, your shoes are untied. Do you... Are we even wearing shoes? 